guys welcome back to the channel now as you can see i'm out at the pond here uh, with a new brushed boat here from 4drc now this is the first 4drc product that i've actually had the pleasure of trying and uh this one just got released on banggood i think it retails for around 70 australian dollars so uh i'll put the link in the description below you can check it out guys all right now like i said this is a new brushed boat this one came with two batteries and uh I'm doing things a little bit different today. Rather than doing an unboxing on the bench, I'm gonna take it out first and test it out because it's such a nice day today. I thought I'll come out here in the morning, test it out, and then if you want to stick around at the end of the video, you can check what comes with the bo in the box, all right, guys? But uh, yeah, like I said, this one came with two batteries. I'm getting a couple of colors, this green and blue, and I think just a like a silvery gray color with blue. And um, the thing that's different about this boat is that it doesn't take your standard common lipo like with a dean's connector or you know any common connector this is actually a modular battery and i've noticed this seems to be a trend with these boats these days um i'm not really a fan of it i'd rather have a normal uh battery with a normal battery plug a common plug that way you could charge them up on a you know a hobby grade charger but anyway this one comes with a 7.4 volt 1200 milliamp hour and it says it's got 18650 cells in it or actually it says 18500 cells so this would have two of those cells to make up this lion battery and um how it connects is that there's some pins in the boat here okay as well as on the battery it does have a little uh balance charger plug on there but you have to use a usb charger okay guys but yeah um everything's hidden underneath the battery tray I uh, presume this is a 390 brush boat, but you can't see it because everything is all tucked in there and uh, hidden away. So uh, that's the boat there, just a standard, uh, you know, brushed boat. And here's the transmitter, guys. I'll just put the boat here for now. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Uh, here's a little transmitter that comes with it. Very lightweight. It's fully proportional. Very smooth uh, steering wheel on this one. Okay, fully proportional. Uh, we've got our trimmer buttons here in the shape of a cross okay so forward trim back left and right and then we've got an led light button because there's a little tiny led light just above the prop here okay on the back of the boat i'm not too sure what color it is because it's the first time trying this out uh, and we've got a reset button here which is if you start messing with your trims if you want to set it to default you can press that button and then we've got the 180 uh, anti-capsizing mode so if the boat is upside down you press that one and it should auto anti-capsize all right so let's turn it on we've got the transmitter on now this will only activate once it's in the water like many brushed boats even the brushless ones or some brushless ones activate in the water some don't but uh, most brush boats do activate only when they're in the water so let's take it for a run see how it goes there we go wants to go by itself <laughs> okay now i think in the instruction manual it says that this starts off in 80 percent mode so i'll just press it forward i think we might be stuck on something already let's bring it in Might have grabbed something already. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to turn that to default. Okay. Okay. So I just reset that. So there's no forward trim. Take it out again. Okay. Now this is supposed to have all those, you know, low battery alarm. Um... Also, you know, the uh, over range alarm, if you're going out of range. Not too sure what speed they said on the listing. Might be about 30 kilometers an hour. I'll put it up on the screen, or I'll actually tell you in the unboxing section of the video what sort of speed. But yeah, you can currently get this on Banggood. It's like I've got stuck on something else. Slowing down again. I oh, know. 
Feel like it bogged down there for a second. It's going all right. Haven't had a brushed boat on the channel for a while, apart from that uh, really cheap one that I tried for mainly aimed towards kids. They had modular batteries, but an actual uh, 390 brushed boat I haven't had on the channel for quite some time. Been doing a lot of brushless ones. She's skipping around on the water. <laughs> Not a bad color combo. Got a, like a lime green with a bright baby blue. I think we might have picked up something, guys, again. <laughs> Hate when that happens. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we picked up a lot of grit. Let me just turn that down. There's still a fair bit of algae in this pond. So anyway, let's uh, flip it around. Oh, <laughs> and he capsized itself. Let me just try that again. Bring it in. All right, so let's try the anti-capsizing mode. Let's see if that works. Oh, anti-capsizes by itself. There's no real need for that. But that is what happens when you hit the button anyway. So it actually anti-capsizes itself when I put it upside down there. Okay, so it takes a while to get moving. Seems to be bogging down a bit. Not too sure why. Let's just uh, take off again. I'll just take off now. See that? I don't think anything's stuck on there. Well, maybe there is. Oh no, see? Now it's uh, taken off, so yeah. Once it gets going, it gets going all right, but uh, see I've done a sharp turn there and it's sort of bogging down. Now I'm not too sure if I'm picking up some stuff from the lake, uh, the pond here. Maybe I have once again. Yeah, I have. So that, that's definitely affecting it. Okay, let's just throw it in the water. There we go. So yeah, it's uh, fortunately it's bogging a bit down a bit. I mean, I can't be catching <laughs> algae every time I throw it in there, surely. It doesn't look like there's anything on there this time. I'm not too sure, guys. Yeah, I'm not liking the performance of it. It's just, uh, just bogging down. Then all of a sudden, it's like it gets like a, a power band of some sort. So he's bogging down in the water. Let me bring it in again. It's starting to get a little bit frustrating, actually. Started off okay, but... Uh... Jeez. 
checking on the boat all the time. You know, there's nothing in the prop there, as you can see. So why is it bogging down for, you know? Let me just reset this trim. It's supposed to reset the trim. You can see you've got a red LED light. You can turn that off. Okay, let's see how it goes. Yeah, see, it's uh, not going that quick at all. And now it's picking up. So it's taken quite a while to get to full speed there. I thought it was just like a bit of a glitch at first, but we're just picking up debris. So I'm not too sure why. I've got it flat out and it's bogged down again. Now it's starting to pick up again. Yeah, pretty disappointing actually. See, flat out the whole time. Okay, a couple of times it did uh, pick up some, you know, algae from the uh, water. But now, see, it's uh, starting to speed up. It just bogs down for way too long, which frankly doesn't make this uh, boat that enjoyable. So it's going all right now, but for how long? If I do a sharp turn, okay, didn't bog down that time, but now it's bogged down again, see? Does it have reverse? Yeah, it's got reverse. Yeah. Not too sure about this one, guys. Um, first time I've had a brushed boat, or any boat, brushless, brushed, behave this way, where it uh, just bogs down like this. I'm full throttle here. I've got the rates turned all the way up. It's not beeping anymore. Uh, let's bring it in. See if there's any debris. No, it doesn't look like there was. See, there's nothing. There's nothing at all. Let's see if it will cap anti capsize itself. Okay, so it hasn't. Let's try this button out now. Because last time I put it in the water upside down, it just flipped over by itself. So that works. Does it a couple of times. But yeah, like, as you can see, there's nothing bound up in the prop. I'm flat out and it's just, I think it's just a bad design. Bad design hull of the boat. The prop's bogging down in the water. Instead of it getting up on the plane, you know what I mean? So just do some donuts here, that's as far as uh, <laughs> what it can do, especially while it's in this low power mode. That's rather odd, guys. Let me set the, the uh, reset. Now I've reset everything. And it seems to be going slower. So yeah, guys, pretty disappointing. Bumping it all the way up. It's not beeping anymore. It's stopped beeping. So it's full uh, throttle trim and it's just bogging down. So, definitely don't recommend this boat, guys. Uh, I was expecting, yeah, something better from 4DRC here. As you can see, I mean, there's, there's hardly any speed out of it at all. And, you know, when is it going to... It's that random with the power delivery. You know, when's it going to kick into top speed again? Most of this video has just been going around like this, so... That's basically it. I think it's uh, running out of battery. It stopped then. 
I thought it was going to get stranded there for a second which uh, probably wouldn't be a bad thing anyway <laughs> anyway guys that will be my review uh, on the test run of this uh, 4DRC uh, high speed boat which it's not really a high speed boat at all so uh, yeah like I said guys um, if you want to stick around I'll do a really quick unboxing of it um, I don't know if you want to watch that but I will for those that want to see what comes with the boat we've got a warning beep there on the telemetry on the transmitter so that's that's a good thing but uh, yeah as you can see performance wise yeah big thumbs down for me it's unfortunate because it looks like a pretty cool little boat but it just doesn't have the uh, performance there uh, it, it just bogs down too much I think it's the design of the uh, of the back here let's see has it got those uh, it's got like inbuilt uh, stabilizers there which don't really have much of a pitch to them uh, we've got these side stabilizer fins but uh, on the bottom here there's a proper name for these guide plates or something I don't know but uh, yeah it's definitely um, it's definitely got something to do with the design of this boat just seems to bog into the water and it's just not getting its full power and only does get the power randomly you know so how long are you going to run it before you get the top speed it's uh yeah it wasn't that enjoyable at first it was going okay but once it started to uh, continue to bog down and go really slow well it becomes not enjoyable at all so anyway guys for those that uh, are going to leave this video now and not bother watching the unboxing uh, I'd just like to say a big thank you for uh, checking this uh, video out and uh, yeah I'll catch you next time guys but uh, for those that want to uh, check out quickly what comes in the box feel free to stick around and check that out they'll be coming up right now so yeah my conclusions on this one uh, I'd give it a hard pass there's definitely much better boats out there that are probably cheaper than around the $70 price range uh, I'd say go for a brushless boat which is probably not that much more expensive than this one. All right, guys, I'll meet you over at the bench and uh, we'll have a look at what we get. All right, hey, we're back at the bench now. Just came back from the pond running the 4D RC boat. And uh, this model number is the 4D S3. I forgot to mention that. Well, I didn't actually know what the model number was when I was out there. But yeah, thanks for sticking around. If you wanted to see, uh, you know, just what we get with the actual boat itself. Uh, as you can see, it looks pretty cool on the box. Like I mentioned down at the pond, you've got a choice of two colours. You've got this blue one as well, which looks pretty cool. Uh, they're stating that it's a 14 ages plus, 2.4 gigahertz of course, and it's just saying on the side here, rudder adjustment, trimming. It also says low battery indicator, which we did actually get telemetry from the warning buzzer uh, while we're out at the pond just now. Waterproof, self-riding, we saw that. Uh, that did work, and we got those, uh, well, LED light. It says lights, so only one light on the back. So uh, anyway, let's uh, see exactly what else we get. Okay, so let's uh, bring out the rest of the things that we get with this boat. Okay, so first off, we've got a little goodie bag here. Now this should have some, looks like some tools, the charger. Okay, so yeah, we've got the charger which I didn't uh, use because I've got uh, an actual one with a transformer plug. All right, but we've got the uh, ba little balance charger there with a the balance uh, lead. We've got a little nut here, spare nut for the prop, some extra uh, stabilizer fins, all right, and one extra prop, as well as a small screwdriver, Phillips head, and a little wrench for the actual nut. All right, so you get those. It's good that they include those little tools there. Uh, we also get this rubber nose piece. Okay, so if you run this in your pool, you definitely want to put this on so you don't uh, damage the front of the boat. So it's just got a little plug there. You just line that up and uh, you just press it in just here, push it in and it will hold in place. So a bit of uh, front nose protection there for this boat and here is the second battery. Uh, like I said, it is a 18500 cell. Uh, it's a 7.4 volt 2S, 1200 milliamp hour. This is the second battery in there, the pins that I was talking about. All right, that gives you uh, the power to the boat. And on the front here is the balance lead uh, for the 2S, all right? So that's that. 
and two operation manuals here so we've got one in chinese and one in english just a basically a quick start guide you know to uh get you up and running shows you the uh, controls here of all the buttons that i went through out at the pond and uh, basic uh controls of the boat so uh yeah but basically that's it guys that's what you get with this 4d rc a uh, little brush boat um it's a shame that i mean it looks pretty cool i do like like the color combo and the design even on the uh the silver one here the silver with the blue i reckon that looks cool as well but unfortunately uh, it didn't perform that great so um oh there's another thing too that i didn't actually get on camera as i was leaving you know i shut the uh camera off after running the boat this did actually take on water guys so i did open it up just to check i should have probably got it on carry but i'm telling you now anyway this did take on quite a bit of water i'd say you know standard coffee cup probably about a third to nearly a half of a cup full and i'm not exaggerating there's quite a bit of uh water in this boat so um yeah i just opened it up and uh as you can see the battery is still wet but uh once i took this out uh, just shook it upside down there was just yeah, a heap of water um, coming out of it so um you could probably just see it is all wet in there i don't know if you can see that too well there's a few droplets there so it is wet in there um it's quite a bit of uh water which actually explains why during most of that run <laughs> why it was bogging down so much so yeah that's uh basically it guys so um i mean the good thing is it comes with two batteries yeah that's great but uh yeah i would definitely recommend something else for the same price um unfortunately i mean it did have a bit of power as it was going along but it just took a while to to get that power it's almost like it has like a some sort of power band and i just think it's the design of the boat to be honest with you it just bogs down too much and uh it's hard for it to get going so um yeah, like i said guys I would recommend something else what i'll do i'll put a playlist up of some of the other boats that i've reviewed brushed and brushless and um yeah like i said i think this one comes in at around 70 australian dollars i think there is a coupon code i will leave a link in the description because banggood did send me this boat um so you can check it out for yourself if you wish to but like i said uh, there are better ones out there it's a shame uh, this is my very first 4d rc product on the channel I've always been wanting to try out some of their RC products. They do mainly make drones, and uh, this is a, when I saw this boat, I thought, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll give it a go. We're uh, in spring now. You know, we're going to head into summer, so uh, yeah, it's going to start warming up, which is great after the long winter. So uh, yeah, anyway, guys, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this review on the 4D RC. This is called the Dash S3. And uh, yeah, just giving you my honest opinion on this one. I will catch you guys on the next video. So if you enjoyed this one, by all means, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, as always, guys, happy RCing and uh, yeah, enjoy the hobby. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.